Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I figured I'd do a real quick video of this. Um, this is a train horn from uh, Open Tones. It's a Open Tone Open 5H 3D printable train horn. Um, it's from D Latch 13 on uh, printables. Um, you can see here, I have it up on the screen here, but I'll, I'll show you the, uh, the image. This is just to be like a, a rough uncut video. Uh, for some questions, I've posted this up on uh, on the Facebook group and I got a bunch of questions about it. Um, I'm not too familiar with the, I mean, I, I know how horns work, but I don't know what they're called. You know, the K fives or H five, whatever. No, uh, I'm not too familiar with the horns, but I, I know how they work and stuff. Um, this, here's how this is, uh, is assembled. Uh, this print, uh, let me, look up see how long this thing took um overall the entire print it's a five horn uh this switch just switch right over to the uh here we go this i'll put the link and everything down in the description um but let me pull up a message i i did some all right I sliced everything on this for the five horn. Uh, this guy only shows three here, but you can see down here on manifold, um, there are two others are going to be going in here and two of the smaller ones are going to go in there. But the, for everything to be sliced, uh, it says it's gonna take 162 hours, 100 or 1,608 grams of filament. Um, then that's not counting uh, the TPU um, diaphragms, which took like two hours to print, I think it was. Now that's all on my settings, you know, so it, it's going to be different on how you uh, print it. But I'm printing all this at a 0.2 layer height. And I'm just printing out PLA. But here's the, uh, the little voice. What's it called? This is the voice something. Let's go over here to downloads. Here we go. The voice assembly. Uh, the back cap, um, here are the bells, trumpets, or no, actually they're called something that starts with a P. No, anyway, here's the chamber. I had to print this. Um, I had to change something on this one print. I think I had to do an outside to inside. Uh, and here's the manifold. Now this manifold is large. Um, I just have the standard um, uh, 3 Pro. Uh, the under three pro so i can't fit all this i have to slice this um in half but there i'll show you here and we'll go over to kira and i'll show you something that he did um he actually ended up slicing that or cutting it in half um so yeah switch back over to the desk so this is a tpu um diaphragm uh it's one millimeter uh, just five layers uh, at point two, and uh, this works pretty good. Um, what you do is from th now. I'm gonna switch back over here to the windows. Um, I reached out to him. See, he here's my. I reached out to him. This is my first start printing it. And let's see if this. Yeah, right here you can see this. Now this showed up on this when I sliced this. This came up on the slicer as already cut in half, and you can see that he went and um, incorporated a uh, angle on this here. Uh, but I'll show you that on the slicer. So, but this is me printing the um, air chamber itself, and I had I ended up printing this like four times. Um, I got about, oh, uh, maybe layer number 20, 21, somewhere around there. This right here is this. You can see that it's a little messed up here, but when it starts going in for the taper, um, it kept wanting to, the way he had it set, or the way it was sliced, um, in my slicer anyway, it, it it wasn't sticking, it wasn't grabbing to the sides there, so it kept separating. So I end up printing outside in um, for the one setting. Um, 
and it came out a, a lot better than than I thought it would be. Um, it's still a little bit messed up, but I don't know. I'm gonna have a full uh, print, um, full build video on this here. Except that this this video is just to uh, go out and, and uh, throw it out there and say, hey, no, this is one. That's what's, what's coming up next, you know, and, and answer some questions on that Facebook group. Um, I'm slicing this with the uh, with the new Cura 5.0, which I'm I'm still not. I'm messing around with the settings. I'm still not a little happy with it, um, but I don't feel like uh, I. The one gentleman on this group mentioned uh, another slicing program. I tried it a little bit, but uh, I'm just gonna stick with Cura. I, I don't like jumping around. I shouldn't say I don't like. Well, I just don't have time to jump around. I guess. Maybe one day I'll, I'll I'll look into it. I have it downloaded. I can't remember what it's called. Um, I do have it downloaded. I was playing around with it. Uh, there was pretty some pretty cool stuff in there, but it just it's overloading my mind for for right now. Okay, so we looked at all this here. Yeah, let's go into Cura. And I'll show. I'll we'll go over. Uh, everything in Cura real quick. Um, like I said, no, the, the files will be down in the description below. Uh, they are in the comments for uh, that um, the uh, Facebook group. I do have them down uh, in a response to one of the comments in there. So um, let me check in there as well. All right. Here's Cura. Here's the chamber assembly. Oh, let's get this back into PLA. So here's the chamber. Uh, train horn. Okay. Here's my settings. I got 0.2 layer height. Um, everything else is just standard walls. I have at three. Now, these, oh, I forgot what button this is. You might want to go up on, on the walls. I don't know what the thread size is for this, the bolt size for for these are. Um, well, we can measure. Actually, you know what? Uh, on the cap, it's seven mil. On this, on the chamber, it's looks to be about five uh, five point five. So this here radius is five point five. Um, so you you're going to have to no, no thread tap this. Um, but I have this. We'll slice this real quick. I have this set at a three for my um, wall count, and you might want to take it up a little bit more because if you if you thread this and if you tap this, well, you know what? Actually, it looks like let's bring it down here. Yeah, see, this is only a, the walls here is only three thick, so. I'm worried about if you thread tap now when when you tap this if you're going to tear this all out. So that you might want to increase your walls. But I don't know. I'll I'll let you guys know when I um in the build in the build video which no I got coming up um I only printed one horn so far, so you know it, it took like a day and a half to do it. Uh, so once I get all the horns printed, um, then we'll do the uh, we'll do the I'll do the build video for it. So that's that. Uh, it's fourteen and a half hours for that, and then the back cap. Might be a different way. Of, if there's another shortcut of doing that, let me know. Here's the back cap. 
there's a bolt that goes to, uh, no, through here. Uh, these are seven mil across. Uh, so, and that's, uh, here's the manifold. Let's get rid of this. Here is the manifold. Now, the manifold is huge. It's like a 24 hour print uh, for half of it. But this, bringing this down here to where at least it's in there, you know, you definitely have to do this um, in two, unless you have, you know, a, a, a massively large printer. He didn't mention any, really anything about how you go and print this. But, yeah, one day, seven hours and 28 minutes, just for, just for what we have displayed here. Um, go into the preview. And I'll show you where he has this, this cement. Right here. Come on. This is acting up. Oh, because I'm recording right now. That's why. See, he already has this pre cut. <laughs> My computer's all. What is going on here? Oh, it travels. We don't need travels off. computer does not like this manifold and recording at the same time. Okay. There, that'll work. So, you can see here Right there, he has this split. There's the top layer of that one. Uh, okay, what was that? 255. We'll take this down to 255. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, we just had it. All right, that, that, that'll work. See, he has this split right here. Um, and he has this tapered. Uh, that's a through hole, but the way, or maybe this, no, this one's a through hole. Uh, one of these is a through hole for the, for the um, other horns. Yeah, this is a through hole. Uh, and that's a through hole too, so okay. So both of those are through holes. So once you print both sides, you'll need to uh, clear out that those, those spots. But that's what we got on the manifold. So that would need to be printed in two. So that's going to be a little tricky to, for me anyway. I'm sure there's a way to do it, but I, I like doing things the hard way for some reason. So, and the bell. The bell, voicing assembly. Well, we can just see, see what that is. Here's the bell. Now, the what he had and the way I printed it, was actually no that didn't work that way so that's what am I doing what is going on here oh that's the reset oh my There we go. He had he wants you to print it like this. And that's the way I printed it, but I'll show you what it what it was doing. Um, now of course this is going to be printed in half as well, so you'll have to come down here and print it this way and then flip it around and print the other bottom. 
but he wants you to print it this way with a rim. Um, and that's what I did. And that's, that, I guess that's good enough for, um, for all this. And the voicing assembly, you know, it, it, it looks just like that. So, so that's why I did. I print, this is the small one. Um, I printed it like this, uh, but you see it, it was leaving some, some things here on the edge. It wasn't sticking on the edge. Uh, so this is the voicing assembly. Now the way he has this work is, wow, this is a 15 minute video already. You got the screw here. Now this is like a tuning screw, I guess. Um, this goes on there like so. And that's all that that's that's all he had on his site, as you can see. Uh, hopefully, you know, he says it's a work in progress. Um, I reached out to him again, no, but I, I I haven't heard anything from him. Um, but this basically, what we're doing here is this fits over top of it like that, and put the diaphragm on there put that on there um, the way I got this to work is when I put this on here and then I put tension on the screw to push this down that's when it started no that's when I started to get to work uh, so I haven't doing an internet search on all this I, I really haven't came across no, I haven't come across too many horns like this but I'm sure there's some out there I just probably haven't come across it I still need to get screws I need to tap this I need to get screws for it um, I need to print here. Now there's a couple things here that um, he hasn't, or well, that need to be fixed or something, but I don't know. But I'm going to TPU print a uh, gasket for this, uh, and same thing with all the manifolds, uh, with the manifold and everything. But um, I'm not sure what this hole's for. I'm assuming it's a screw goes in there to... To hold this in place but the way this the way it's not fully seated so i don't know uh yeah so let's do this real quick and i'll let you know i'll blow through the hole and give you an idea of what this is you know that this does work So I got it to do that last night. Um, like I said, the, uh, simple design. There, most of the ones I see on the internet are like real horns have a diffuser here. Uh, so because that's where the air is coming in right there, but it has a uh, a ring plate for as a diffuser. So I'm probably going to print one of those. And if I do, I'll put it back up on his uh, on his page. Um, I did try using the uh the user print files but i have a uh, on mac bed leveler on my ender and this will switch back over um i'll be uploading the uh user print uh, user print file for the uh, tpu gas um, diaphragm um i got my printer has i have a, a auto bed leveling on my printer so yeah I have to, it won't let me upload that file with the uh, G29 code on it. So I'll have to remove the G coin, uh, G29 code and then uh, put it up here. But yeah, there you go. No, that's something I thought would be five minutes. It's going to take, no, it's now taking a 20 minute video. <laughs> anyway, hey, like, subscribe. Um, keep an eye on all this. Uh, it's going to be quite, it's going to be a few days till I'm, be able to get this all printed up uh and then get the uh, full build video up um but yep there you go like subscribe take care